So Tudor just launched a new watch, the new Pelagos FXD GMT. This time it's a collaboration with the French Naval Aviation. Well, this is a GMT watch, it's not a dive watch, even though the Pelagos is a dive watch. This is the aviation version of said watch. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the watch, the specifications, my likes and dislikes, and whom this watch is for. This watch heavily relies on the Marine National collaboration to sell itself as an out and out tool watch that's actually being used by a military. That is really a marketing ploy, even though the watch is actually used by them and well, useful to them. What's really interesting to me is that they took a watch that's earmarked for diving, the Pelagos, that, that whole lineup is their top of the line diver, and they've used that to make a GMT piece out of it. Like most GMTs, this piece tracks three time zones. The military use case is to have one of them to be GMT itself. They call it Zulu time, which is, Zulu stands for zero and zero hour is GMT, I guess. So the hour hand tracks local time, the GMT hand tracks itself. And then you can use the 24 hour bezel to track a third time zone. So most GMTs with a rotational bezel can do this. Now in terms of the specifications. So the case of the watch remains at 42 millimeters wide. It's built out of titanium and with a water resistance of 200 meters, like the standard FXD. To me, what is interesting is the thickness of the watch which is frankly quite impressive at 12.7 millimeters. So the exact same thickness as a regular FXD, but this has got the GMT movement. Now, if we know anything from Tudor's older GMT watches, they were a lot thicker. And particularly what comes to mind is the Black Bay Pro or even the Black Bay 41 GMT at well over 14 millimeters thick at 12.7. This is quite impressive. And the lug to lug on this watch is about 52 millimeters with a lug width of 22, all standard FXD dimensions that we've seen for the past three years. The GMT movement in this is the caliber MT5652U. So the U means it's METAS certified, which is really just an additional label on top of the movement. It doesn't actually change characteristics of the movement. It's just labeling what it can do. And this watch is priced pretty strongly, like the regular FXD, because it needs to cash in on that military cachet. If you simply wanted a GMT from Tudor, all the others are cheaper than this. And they even come on a bracelet, which is a, quite a fantastic bracelet, especially with that TV clasp. Now, let's talk about the aesthetics. This is a lot more subjective. It gets onto my likes and dislikes. So the first thing you notice the dial, very much a standard Pelago style, but you see that the loom markings are cream colored. It's not really complete patina, it's more of a cream. It reminds me of the Black Bay Pro. And I really dislike this. I do not understand why they would do this. I'm sure it's optimized for naval aviation and some nighttime visibility and marketing spiel stuff like that. But this is a consumer product and as a consumer, I don't care. To me, the other FXDs look much nicer with that crisp white loom. And unfortunately, that's not present here. My speculation is that they've done this in, in cream to make room for a Pelagos, a regular Pelagos GMT, which might eventually turn up and then these watches would be all too similar so they need to sell that watch as well. The 24 hour bezel is nice, particularly as it's rotational and not bicolored like the Black Bay 58 GMTs. The strap has an aeronautical military green theme to it, which is a nice touch, but apart from that, it's very much FXD. The thing I struggle with is whom this watch is for. I can't really understand who wants to buy this over any of the other GMTs that Tudor offers. If you've held out for a GMT watch, I do not understand why this watch changes things for you because it doesn't really work as well as the others. It doesn't come on a bracelet with a nice clasp and it's got those fixed lugs, it's got the cream. If you wanted that, you could have gone for the Black Bay Pro, which also came on the bracelet, had most of the stuff in it. And if you wanted a Black Bay 41, so the larger one, you could have gone for those GMTs, which are also less expensive and they offer more value. If you wanted an FXD, I'm pretty sure you already have one because they've got many FXDs now and all of them have been fantastically executed. I do not see why someone would have held out for an FXD GMT. That doesn't really make sense to me. It certainly doesn't hurt to have the first Pelagos GMT. It's nice to see it. Nice to have more variety. But if this is the exact GMT watch you've been holding out for, let me know why, because I'm most curious. That's pretty much it. Check out my other videos. See you next time.